Hello parents, I'm going to give you a little walkthrough on what Schoology looks like as a parent. Uh, hopefully you'll find some of these tips and tricks and this walkthrough helpful. Once you have uh, a parent code, you may simply log in with it. If you do not have a specific parent code, please click the sign up button, choose parent, and put in an access code. And you get this access code by either emailing me or one of your child's teachers. We do want parents logging in as parents and not their children out of respect for privacy of all the students here at Horseman. So please sign up with an access code. All right, but I already have one, so I'm going to put my information right in here. I have a um, fake child. Well, not really. Um, my wife is pregnant and right now we're calling the little baby boy Bubba so I made him an account and I am logging in as his parent so here we go uh, you can have sometimes your browser will pop up and say um, do you want to remember this site if it's at home and in a safe computer you can definitely click save password I won't because I usually log in with other accounts so here I am I have my child's name right up here in the corner and if I click this disclosure triangle you can see that um, I have an account for myself as parent my child and if I have other children that have an access code I can add them right here and you can track your children no matter what building that they are in so I also have the ability to control notifications and my account settings you can also simply log out too but right now I'm gonna make I'm gonna go check on little Bubba, make sure he's okay. And so right here, um, we have a toolbar over here, a toolbar across the top, notifications on the side, and our landing page. And our landing page shows all the work that uh, is going on. So you can see that up here, uh, there was an announcement for um, all the students of Horseman. My little boy Bubba is in Aaron, uh, Andy Burnell's class, and you can see what work that they were uh, doing today. If I scroll down, oh, and there's a morning message right there. If I click on this, oh wait, no, that's not a morning message. This is a student-created video about Operation Share coming up, and I can play that right in line. But we don't need to do that. So all the information that my child is subscribed to will show up in this feed. That's not very helpful because we, well, maybe it is, but maybe we want to go to specific places. If I want to, with my child's name up here in the corner, and I want to peer into a course, I can. Let's look at um, Mrs. Ritten's, uh, oh no, I'll go to um, Mr. Brunel's class. So here I can see the materials that he's uploaded or the updates. And a lot of teachers are using updates. And these updates are basically what's going on for the day. You can even download and see the pages that are uh, being shared by the teacher. It's pretty handy. I'm going to jump back out and show you. All kids here are registered for the Horseman Middle School homepage, and you can see all the posts that I'm making right here. And I think this is a morning message right there. Yes, there we go. So you can see everything as they do. But I'm going to go back to my parent landing page uh, by clicking home. And uh, let's see. What else should I show you? Oh, grades. Right now, teachers are not doing a lot of grading within uh, Schoology because we're told to do it in Infinite Campus. And teachers don't want to do uh, grades in one place and then duplicate that work somewhere else. We're working on. Um, doing our grades in Schoology and then just taking the final grades and posting those in Infinite Campus for report cards. We'll see how that works. But let's look at someone. So a little, little Bubba's in uh, Mrs. Ritten's fourth hour course. And you can see that she is using her grade book right here. Bubba has not gotten any grades, so I'll have to talk to him about that. wonder what's going on with little Bubba. Um, but your child will probably have grades there. If you want to see the assignment, you can click on the assignment and get more information about that assignment. Right there, test or quiz, it was only available from this time, okay. 
and we can if if, I, if Bubba had taken the test I would be able to see his score and some more data right there and even maybe comments from the teacher um, so there we go that was uh, basically the stream grades and attendance right here is a calendar everything that Bubba is uh, signed up for every course everything is going to be listed right here not only is it listed there but it's listed on the sidebar over here so I can see everything that was on the other website but in a more streamlined way um, I can also jump into all these areas right here to see graded assignments discussions tests and quizzes and attendance we will not be doing attendance in Schoology because that is that has to go directly into um, Infinite Campus. Eventually when Schoology can push data out and Infinite Campus will take it in, maybe we'll do that here. But look to see in quarters three and four more grades up here. So let's say I don't want to get bugged a lot. So all oh, this emails from Blackboard and from HMNJSD and all this stuff. Let's say I don't want this. Well I can control everything myself under notifications. So I'm going to go here and say, hey, do I want an email summary? Yeah, sure. I'll take an email summary. And I can get it daily or weekly. Well, weekly is enough. What time do I want it? Yeah, Friday. Oh, you know what? Maybe I'll take it on Sunday. I don't want to ruin my weekend. So I'll take it at 5 a.m. Yeah, 5 in the morning on Sunday. Let's have that ship my way. I'm going to hit the save changes right there and uh, there so any any um, I, I'm not sure what this is gonna look like it's a parent email a, a, a digest of events that went on I'm gonna take it weekly uh, if, I, if I don't want it I can always turn it off very simply by going up here to notifications I can turn it off but if I go into this other tab called account settings I can say well yeah I want to be called Mr. Marshawn I'm daddy here I'm gonna place a title in front of my first name sure you bet and I can make some adjustments there, okay. Uh, set your default account. Do I want it to be me or do I want to jump into my kid right away? Yeah, I want to check on Bubba a lot. So I'm going to make sure it's child activity and I'm going to hit save changes. And those are all set. So there you go. If you do, I wonder how we can contact a teacher. Uh, I can maybe make a new message here. Can I make email? Um, Verona. No. Oh, yeah, subject field is missing. I'm not sure how to contact a teacher on here. Um, I'm sure there's definitely a way. If I go to click on Mr. Brunel's name right there, that should bring me to him. And oh, right there, I can message him. You bet. Boom. Hello. Thanks for working with Bubba. Bubba Marshanda. There we go. I better take that. Uh, I'm going to send that. I can even share a file or a link with the teacher too. So I'm going to hit send and he will get that notification right there. So basically that's uh, real quickly how to work with your Schoology account. Hope that helps. Um, I don't know. Did I go into account settings? Yes. Okay. All right. I'm going to log out. Thanks for watching. Any questions, please email me. I'd love to help. Have a great day.